Okay, this Rodrigo, guys, is looking to be one of the best cards on FIFA 23 right now. He's not premium chemistry, which is a little bit annoying. Unless you're already at level 40 and you can go and get Vinicius Jr. But this card is crazy. Very, very expensive. I think a 91, two 90s, an 89, and an 88 for this card. So he's expensive. And EA have priced him that well or that, that high because the card is monster-like. 99 pace and 98 dribbling. 92 shooting with 87 passing and 74 physical. He's five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills, five star weak foot. Finesse shot trait, flare trait, flare passes trait, and the most important one, the outside foot shot trait. And the reason that's going to be so important, see it with your own eyes, he's only got 88 shot power, which means this card's going to be able to do the really broken Travellers all game long, which is amazing. 99 acceleration and sprint speed is awesome as well. 96 for attack position and his finishing, with of course that lovely 88 shot power with the outside foot shot trait as well. 90 long shots, poor volleys and penalties, but not really important. Parson needs an improvement, so that is what we've done. We've gone for the architect on him. He's coming out with 87 vision straight away, up to 95 with the architect applied. He's got 92 short pass, which is very good, up to 99 with the architect. Long pass at 75, not the best, but still, you know, it's okay. It goes up to 79 with the Architect. It's not a very big upgrade overall, but still is all right. He's got 95 curve up to 99 as well. His dribbling, apart from his reactions, are insane. 99 agility and balance, 91 reactions, 98 ball control and dribbling with 96 composure. He's also really good in the air with 97 jumping up to 99 and 95 head and accuracy, 98 stamina, 60 strength and 70 five for aggression basically guys what you're going to want to do with this card is for the chem style make sure you're not boosting his shooting put anything else on him that doesn't boost his shot power so you might want to look at something like an engine i don't know if it boosts reactions though an artist is another really good one we'll apply an artist and have a look and see what that does to him because we do have a lot of architects as well the artist is actually arguably better because of what it does to his reactions up to 95 goes up to that 95 vision and crossing um, and then goes up to 90 long pass. So I think I'm going to stick with the artist now. And the reactions going up by five is amazing. His dribbling is almost maxed out there. Let's get into a few games with this card. We're going to be playing him at Cam and see how good he really is because he looks absolutely bonkers. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right then, guys. So live game now coming in with Rodrigo. We are also going to be reviewing Roberto Carlos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But as I said to you guys earlier, this Rodrigo looks crazy. So I'm really excited to review him and see what he does have to offer. As we're going through here already, this could be 1-0 straight away. Oh, good save. Good save from Kobel, I think. Very, very decent save. And yeah, we are also reviewing Carlos. And if I do get any highlights, if we do talk about Carlos, that will be the reason why, okay? But this one is focused and centered on Rod Rigo. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to review him, guys. I think he looks absolutely ridiculous. <gasps> no way was he offside. Remember, he is playing at Cam as well. I think that is his best position, even though he has got very low um, passing on the long pass with the artist. We have obviously fixed that. Oh, oh, we've got a score there. How nice was that dribbling, though? Absolutely insane. Play that back there. Is that Rodrigo there? Oh, this is a chance. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that. I shouldn't have shot that. Definitely not. On in. Into Rodders again. No, it's going to the wrong person. Rodrigo. It's got to be one nil. What? How in seven hells has he saved that? Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, if I got that off there, that was a Alasco coming in and definitely a goal. Dribbling feels insane straight away. Um, and there's no doubt in that. Dribbling feels at, like this. This this is crazy. Oh my god, man! His dribbling is insane. Genuinely feels like one of the best dribblers on the game. All right then, guys. Game number two with Rodrigo. That guy left very quickly. He didn't want that smoke. He was getting bad, to be fair. To be fair to him. Let me know if you want me to review any of the objective cards for champs as well, and we'll do them. Uh, okay, this guy's a sweat. This is going to be a bit of a better game for Rodrigo here. His, his dribbling feels so, so good, though. Like, look at that. 
You should be able to dribble like that on, on new gen. It's not usually possible. Now, there is one problem with him, and you can see it there. He is very, very, very weak. Uh, we were expecting that, though, right? He's going to be weak. And you're just going to have to put up with that, really. Love his dribbling, guys. Absolutely love it. And that goal, if it was a goal, was all made by him there. And his ra ridiculous dribbling. Like, look. Oh, my God. His skill moves are so quick. I feel like I'm using a special version of Neymar. But then again, you know, you have to also got to say that, you know, the, the, the weakness is that he's really, 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 really weak. And it's not just a little bit weak. He is crazy, crazy, crazy weak. Nice. Oh, that is just not where I've aimed that there. Yeah, g g genuinely, like, what a silly card this is. Because he's dribbling so good as well, he's going to be able to roll the keepers on new gen. This guy's going to go as well, man. Let's get into one more game. Okay, then, guys. One more live game now with Rodrigo. This guy's already gotten two. Fair play. Um... Everybody's leaving so quick. I don't really understand as to why. Like, I've never seen people leave so fast. Now, a lot of people are going to say, how does he compare to Shakiri? This car's better than Shakiri. 100%. I've shot that before he's even taken the touch. I, mean, I know he's offside, but... He is going to be better than Shakiri. He fits the meta a little bit more. You know, five-star, five-star, of course. This car is just like a, a, a version of Neymar. Like in SBC, so take that as you will. Oh, I just couldn't get away from Kunde there. That's really good defending from this guy. Here he is again. Drives. Doing that driving that he's good at. Oh, that dribbling. The other thing about him, though, guys, he's an absolutely insane provider. Uh, uh, just imagine team of the season Neymar, but on, on drugs, basically. That That is how I feel about this card at the moment. Oh my, oh, my God. Nah, boys. Oh, get this card. All right, then, guys. So, we're on old gen now. We've got a kit clash. I don't know why it's put these kits on. Uh, but still, Rodrigo on old gen, I'm expecting to be Jesus. Literally a godsend. A god among, amongst men. Gen genuinely. Really am expecting. Expecting that. Has this guy got that new Messi already? That better not be the new Messi. That is just not where I've aimed that, EA. I must be playing against myself. This guy's called Reese, spelt the same way. Nice Kalulu. I can't keep the ball against this guy. What's going on? Yeah, he deserves a goal. How has he missed that? How has he missed that? Come on, Salabar. You're not very fast, are you? Here's Bobby Carlos' review on him coming soon. Nice. This is a messy game. But here he goes, Rodrigo. Straight into the space. Ball roll. Oh, is it going? Oh, it's hit the post. It's hit the post. If I green out, that goes, doesn't it? Oh, okay. This guy's very decent. Finally, we get a test. Finally. And this guy is nice with it. Oh, fair play. Okay, we're 1-0 down. We should have scored already, mind, but this guy's very nice with it. Kyle and Rodrigo. Into that space. Love that. Oh, my God, guys. Ooh, he is ridiculous on the ball. Sprint boost, whatever you need from him. It's brazy. Nice, well in. Ball into Rodrigo again. Remember, he can provide very nicely, too. Doesn't need to in that situation. Oh, what a save. That's the only issue with having the low shot power, I would imagine. Is whilst it's going to help him in certain scenarios, it means his shot's not going to be as strong in front of that. Nice, it's good football. Oh, oh, that has to go through. Agent Rabio there. That is poor. He's a miles offside. And he knows it too. Oh, man, this guy's very decent, huh? Let's put our attacking fullbacks on. Here we go, Vital. Got a bit of space here. Got to drive into that. Nice. That pass is absolutely terrible. Rodrigo again. That's nice. His dribbling is something chronic, honestly. Please win that, Salabar. Yeah, 
dog card Saliba is now, isn't he? He's just behind the power curve massively. It's nice. Hello. My team is nowhere. His sprint boost, guys. Oh, my word. This card is a joke. <gasps> this Rodrigo is absolutely absurd, guys. Oh, my God. Rodrigo again. Rodrigo's a joke, guys. Rodrigo is an absolute joke. All right, guys. So we played four games with Rodrigo. He scored six goals and got one assist. This card is mad. This card's better than Son. This card's better than the team of the season, Neymar. He is one of the best forward players on the game. Yes, he does have one issue and one issue only. He is very, very weak. But he's one of the only really high-tier cards left that has under 89 shot power. And that means his Trevellas are going to be broken. And the artist, Kemsal, as well, absolutely brilliant for him. To boost up that pass in, to get that long pass up to where he can actually play really good over-the-top balls as well and gen genuinely really good through balls, just full stop. Um, is a really nice increase to the card in the only area which is really lacking. So, happy to boost that. Reaction's getting a boost as well. One of the most important stats in the dribbling and on this card is a little bit low. And, you know, his dribbling is is otherworldly. Um, you, you are going to use a player here that will R1 straight dribble for you like no one else on the game. And if you play on old gen, he has got the best sprint boost. He's got the best left stick dribbling I have ever used. That's how good this card is. That is why he's been priced so highly, because he is a monster. You have to take that into account when you use him. He's an absolute beast, man. Yeah, he's weak, but everything else, he is top tier. His finishing can be a little bit dodgy sometimes. You know, because the shot power's low, when he's in the box, you need to make sure you're powering up your shots more or your green time in every single shot you do take with him. So be careful of that. But I would certainly keep the shot power below 89 so you do get the broken tremellas. Make sure you take that into consideration. He feels rapid fast. Passing is brilliant for a card like this. Can play strike if you want him to, but middle cam is my favourite position for him because he's small, he's agile, he's able to bob and weave really quickly, and he doesn't have a lot of strength. So that's the best position for him, in my opinion. Go and try this card out. He's a 10 out of 10 on both versions. Absolutely love him. One of the best cards we've got this year so far, guys. Let me know what you think, Tim, down below. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and some of the best, best player of you. But guys, it's going to be it for me for now. So take care.